Hey guys, this is Matt with 4hydroponics.com and today I'm going to be talking about the Bounty Tea Compost Tea System. Uh, the creator of this system is a guy named John Evans. Check him out online. He's got nine Guinness Book World Records for largest fruit and vegetable. Uh, he's not messing around and a lot of the way he accomplishes that is going to be through his soil, um, which is his humus soil. So the base of this system is going to be his humus soil and the bioactivator. Um, the humus soil is a mixture of fungi, bacteria, protozoa, and nematodes. And the uh, bioactivator is a mixture of uh, proteins, sugars, fats, and what they consider biology. Um, these two together, brewed for 24, 72 hours, are going to give you the base of your system, and then we're going to get to add the extra goodies afterwards. Um, this system comes with everything you need to get ready to go home and brew. It has your air stone, your air pump, um, and then it's got your filter bag, and it comes with your bioactivator, your humus soil, and it actually gives you a little M3 to get going, which is great for veg, and we'll talk about that here in a second. Um, and so, yeah, once you mix it all together, um, you'll just brew for you know, seven, uh, 24 to 72 hours and then we'll choose which one we're going to add depending on where your plant's at and what stage. So the extras he's got here, um, we'll start with first uh, the root web. Um, root web's got 20 different species of fungi and bacteria in it. So it's going to inoculate your root zone with a bunch of good uh, little uh, microbes. Um, those are going to help protect your roots, help with nutrient uptake, um, and also soil structure. Um, so, that, you know, we'll add this 30 minutes before applying and that'll be a root tea, which is really cool. Um, the next one we got is the M3, which is what this comes with. And we're going to use the M3 for vegetative growth. So if you have a leafy green vegetable that you're growing, or if your plant's in vegetative uh, cycle, the M3 is going to be the choice for you. Once again, apply 30 minutes before use and go ahead and water with it. Um, if you're in flower or you have a, you know, heavy fruiting or flowering plant, um, we're going to be using the B3. This is high in phosphorus, potassium. The M3 was high in nitrogen. Um, so this one is going to be great for anybody in early flower, late flower, any kind of vegetables outside that produce some big, you know, fruits. Um, apply 30 minutes before and uh, go ahead and water with it. Um, he's got some extra couple goodies over here too. The fungal activator is to make a more fungal dominant tea. The way we accomplish that is going to be add a fungal, some a, a fungal activator to some humus soil and we're going to let that sit for about one to three days in some high humidity until we get a culture of fungus. Um, once we've got that humus soil cultured, we're going to take that humus soil and we're going to use that humus soil to make our tea versus fresh humus soil out of the bag. And that'll create more of a fungal dominant tea, which seems to be better for maybe a flowering plant. Um, and then last but not least is a super start. Um, this is a great way to give your plant a little supercharge at the beginning of life. Um, dig a hole in your container or in your garden before you transplant, sprinkle a little bit of the super start, throw a handful of the humus soil down there and that'll give your plant a great head start this season or for the next cycle. Um, if you've been somebody who's been thinking about making teas for a while, been on the fence, don't know how to do it or don't want to make something that's going to damage you know, your plant more than it's going to help it, this takes all the guesswork out of it. It allows you to make a veg tea, a flower tea, you know, uh, a fungal tea, and, uh, and even a root tea. So you can really specialize what you're doing to make sure it's benefiting your plant at the right time. Um, all this stuff's on our website, 4 I hope this video helped you out. Um, come check us out. We'll see you next time.